All right, we're back again. Hello, everybody. I do want to show you uh, an error that I made here. It's not critically important, but the uh, piston transceiver one used to be over here. It was lined up perfectly with this, and it was that way until we shifted it over by a quarter, and so the transceiver has been shown piston one transceiver has been moved over a little bit and i did move over the piston transceiver but i did not move over this radio frequency energy and so that's not completely correct uh, what should be happening is this radio frequency energy should be shown as being in here so that if you looked inside of this channel you can see that this doorway has been shut right here this much so the radio frequency energy that is present back here as shown being present back here would not actually be there and so it's just a mistake and we'll go get a slightly different um, version and we'll 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 see this as um shifted by one quarter and we'll take the f power and have the f power at three quarter beam like it's supposed to be so the f power is not at full we don't want it there we want it at three quarter and the e power is at one quarter um, because the beam has or the piston one transceiver has moved over a little bit so now what we're seeing is the um, this place here where this energy is trying to go backwards this way is not going to happen because even though this is shown by SketchUp as an opening it isn't an opening it's metal so that um, again this energy would not be able to travel backwards because there's metal right here and if you looked at it again as i've done with these dissected pieces where a lot of information has been taken out of the drawing so you can see it more clearly the radio frequency energy would be coming out this way as we've shown so this is piston one transceiver radio frequency that's bathing cylinder wall transceiver F and piston one transceiver radio frequency energy that is bathing cylinder wall transceiver E and all this radio frequency energy that was shown back in here is not going to happen because this is a metal barrier in fact, that's the whole point of how this works and uh, we have seen that when uh, cylinder wall transceiver one moves over by a quarter of a cycle cylinder wall transceiver one loses um, one quarter of its power and cylinder wall transceiver E which was at receiving nothing receives one quarter power and uh, it, um, I feel like you're going to see quickly how this works and we'll go ahead and index it over again so now instead of moving it by 31.455 we're going to move it by one half which is 62.91 and uh, that would mean that we need to take the shift by a quarter we'll pull this back over here so that it's clear what's being demonstrated so the shift by a quarter is going to be turned off the shift by a half is going to be turned on and we'll go see what happens to the power when we do that so if you'll look here you will see that basically piston wall transceiver one is sending about half of itself back through the F position through the cylinder wall transceiver F and piston wall transceiver one is sending the other half of its power to cylinder wall transceiver E.
So that being the case, that means that um, F transceiver power would be equal to one half and E transceiver power would also be equal to one half. So the F transceiver that was at three quarter gets taken down to a half because that wall, that doorway has closed some more. And the E transceiver that was at one quarter has been taken up to a half because this uh, power transmitting channel has is walking away from the F position, the cylinder wall transceiver F position, and moving towards the cylinder wall transceiver E position. And so something that's important that I want you to try to remember, which is the ratio of the power between E and F is one to one, 50 percent. The ratio is one to one. Each is equal when piston transceiver one is one half of the way in between two transceivers. Useful information. Okay, well, uh, this is an addendum here. I, I once again have made this mistake of having the radio frequency power out where it's not supposed to be. Um, it's not a big deal, but we, we should probably try to get the drawing exactly correct. So let's go get the one that's correct. And we need to be at uh, the shift by one half, which is what we're talking about. And when we're at the um, shift by one half, these two power uh, uh, outputs should be at the one half power so we'll put F transceiver at one half and the E transceiver at one half and so again what we've uh, what I've just forgot about is that even though this piston transceiver channel has moved over you would think that power could be transmitted back this way but th this channel is where there is nothing and so there is nothing in this channel, but next to this channel is metal. So this doorway right here, right there, there's radio frequency energy there, but it can't be radiated backwards into the piston because there's metal there. And so this is the co correct um, structure of how this uh, should look. But the uh, an important uh, to be emphasized again is you'll notice that here's the F level energy, here's the E level energy, they're the same.